Hey there, freaks and geeks. Welcome to another episode of GoFams. Geek out for a minute. This one's going to be called, this segment's going to be called By the Numbers. Um, I've, I've talked to you guys about this before. And basically, By the Numbers is going to be when we dissect a trailer. Um, it's not, I'm not going to do it by episode because it's just being too long. But this is when we dissect the trailer. And uh, I'm going to show you all the images here. And this time we're going to do Captain America's Civil War. That trailer just dropped about, uh, I believe it was last week. And I, I really wanted to talk about it then, but the only problem was is that um, I, I was sick as a dog. And, you know, I was sick, my girl was sick, and my son was sick, and he's also teething, so it's it was a mess. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better now. And I, wanted, I really wanted to do this earlier, so I do apologize. And I know that it's been also a while, you know, since uh, the last episode, which was probably about, what, three weeks ago maybe? Maybe four? Probably about a month, so... So yeah, I'm really glad to be able to do another episode here. Also, I wanted to go through some other uh, changes here. So before I get into Civil War's trailer, um, I do want to touch bases on, as you guys can see from the last episode, you know, uh, well, you know, obviously, you know, you know, Salcedo, you know, or, or uh, Jose Luis Salcedo, or as I, I like to call him, Sally Boy, and then uh, Galeo as well, James, uh, they, you know, they're not here because they are actually a part of the... Um, uh, in Cal they live in California, and I live in Las Vegas, so makes it a little bit difficult for us to be able to do a show together, uh, being that we're from two different units. We just happened; we were just deployed together, not one unit. I was attached to their unit, so. Um, but I will have some uh, guests coming up pretty soon, so hopefully that'll give a good interaction and give you, you know, a secondary point of view and not just mine. Okay. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to touch bases on is also uh, just looking at the numbers, at the views of the content that I have. And look, I, I really care about what you guys say. As you can, you, if you guys can see, I'm pretty interactive um, with all of that. And even if you go on to uh, Facebook and, and join uh, Let's Geek Out for a minute. Um, but I want your questions. I want you guys to, to let me know what you guys think. So, you know, you're going to see our Twitter handle and also go on to uh, Facebook or whatever, or even just hit me up. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see longer videos with more content, we can do that, or we can make the smaller ones that we've been doing lately, which is about roughly about nine to ten minutes. Um, this episode is going to be a little bit longer because it's shot by shot for the trailer. Okay. So, like I said, let me know your opinions. Let me know down below what you guys think and what you guys would, would uh, more likely want to see. Okay. So. Uh, well, let's get started here. So, first off, Marvel released this bomb of a trailer, okay? And, and it's for Captain America's uh, Civil War. And it'll be released on May 5th, I believe. Yeah, uh, it is, yeah, May 5th. And, you know, I, I can't wait for this. Because um, one of the things that it clarified for me was um, the, the tone. Just uh, I had heard about a trailer that they played at D23. If you guys don't know what D23 is, uh, that's basically Disney's Comic-Con, where they put out all the information based on their cartoons, uh, based on their, their uh, Pixar, Marvel, or even Star Wars information, and let you know what's going on. It's like it's like their Comic-Con, but for, for Disney. And so when they put it out, I had heard, mind you, I haven't seen it, but I had heard that they had uh, a footage where it showed Cat, um, Hawkeye and Black Widow fighting each other, and they were kind of like joking around like, oh, hey, we're still friends, right? Oh, yeah, 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 that's cool. And, you know, they just went around. Now, and I really had a fear that Marvel was not going to try to push the boundaries with this movie, okay? Well, I mean, we should, I mean, well, I, I should let, let it be said. I mean, with the exception of Iron Man 3, uh, Marvel has not let me down at all. I mean, I, I mean, they keep putting out good film after good film after good film. So, yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait to see this, but when I saw this, it clarified a lot of things. Okay, so let's start with the first scene right here. Now, the first scene in the trailer, it, it, it uh, starts off where Ant-Man's, like, post credit scene uh, starts. And, you know, where it shows Bucky Barnes, and you, cause you can see his arm is on some kind of machine. I don't know if he got stuck there, or it was a trap set for him. I, I don't know. Uh, why would he get stuck on that? I don't, I don't even know. Um, so... They find them, and this is where you see, you know, Captain America saying, hey, do you know me? Do you remember me? And you can see how he starts, you know, talking about him in the past. 
Um, now, <clears throat> so good introduction there and, and good continuity uh, coming right off of uh, Ant-Man. So that, that's really cool. Now, on this next one, you see Thunderbolt Ross, which is a William Hurt is the actor who plays him and who is a very, very talented actor. Now, William Hurt, um, if, you, if you recall who he is, Thunderbolt Ross, uh, he is the guy that was after the Hulk in The Incredible Hulk. So, uh, the one with Edward Norton. So, he was after him. So, you, you're bringing him back just brings like a level up. Like, yeah, you know, uh, something from the past. So, you're bringing it back. That's cool. And not only that, but, you know, he sees talent. So, it's really cool. So, they show him walking up. And basically, this is where he starts telling, you know, Cap is like, hey, man, we've seen you as a hero. You, you know, some people see you as a hero, but other people see you as a vigilante. So you can't work without the con uh, outside of the confines of the government. Um, and uh, as you can see right here in this shot, you see just Captain America in action. You know, he's just uh, does that jump and then hits that that soldier like in the chest with his boots. Crazy shot. But let's move along to the next scene. Now, the next scene, which is really cool, is that they're bringing up the uh, Sokovia Accords. And uh, the, the weird part about this is that in the in the trailer it makes it seem like they're handing it over to 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 Captain America but they're actually sending it over to a female which I'm gonna assume that it's Black Widow but uh, she's got like a uh, black fingernails out there as you can see okay so now let's move on to the next one the next one is you see you know Scarlett Johansson again talented actress you've already seen her Black Widow and she is letting Cap know hey man you, you gotta drop this situation with Bucky I know Bucky's your friend but Hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you can't fight this one, and um, and Cap, like you can see, he's got like a baseball cap and and big shades on. You know, he he, it looks like he's in hiding. Like you know, it doesn't look like he's out for a stroll. It looks like he's in hiding, and he's like, what? So you're saying you're gonna arrest me? And you know, which is very a, a very interesting point because it, it's great that uh, Bucky. Uh, Bucky Barnes, or, uh, who's played by Sebastian, uh, the last name escapes me, so bear with me. Um, and he he plays, you know, Winter Soldier, and they want him for all these war crimes. And it's really cool that they made him the trigger. What triggers off, you know, the the um, the well, it's not going to be obviously the Registration Act anymore. You know, it's probably it's going to be something uh, about uh, having to work within the confines of the government. So. Yeah, it looks to me like at this point he's already he's already on the run. Okay, so um, now let's move on to the other part. Now the other part, the other scene is, which is interestingly enough, is you see Iron Man opening up the doors, and you know he's facing Cap, and on this one he's like, he's like, hey man, you you know you look a little aggressive. Now the weird part is that uh, when he says that, uh, you can see that you know the 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 helmet comes open, and he already has a black eye, so. Have they fought already? Like, I, I, I don't know what happened here, but that's what it, 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 it kind of seems like he was in another altercation because he's got that black eye, so. Um, and then, you know, the, then Cap, you know, says, hey, you know, it, it's been a long day, you know? So, yeah, that's why he's aggressive. And, and if you can see right there in the back, way in the back, you see Winter Soldier, you know, and what it looks like, like he probably has a rifle on his hand. Uh, so he's probably pointing at like, you know, hey, Cap, I got your back. Now, um, on the next scene, which is really weird, and you see them taking their gear. Okay, they're, they, they're take, they have taken, you know, Captain America's shield and what looks like, you know, Falcon's, you know, uh, jetpack with the wings. Like they're taking it away from them. Like, hey, this is not your shit anymore. Um, but we, again, we don't know, but it, that's what it looks like they're doing. So uh, now we're going to move along here. This is really cool because um, in this scene, uh, what's it called? S Sebastian, you know, who's playing um, uh, what's called Winter Soldier here or uh, Bucky Barnes. He he's basically grabbing a weapon like, you know, he's like and like, you know, with purpose, like, you know, and and what I'm assuming is going on here is that, you know, he basically tells, you know, Captain America, hey, man. I'm joining with you. I got your back. And he grabs, he just grabs a weapon. And then the next shot, you see Captain America put his hand 
uh, uh, you know, in, uh, uh, very endearingly on, on Winter Soldier's back saying, hey, you know, I'm glad you're back, you know, kind of thing, or I'm glad that you got my back, you know, because I got yours, you know, so that's what, uh, they, they're not saying that, but it, it looks like that's what's going on. Now, <clears throat> this other scene, which is pretty cool, is Tony telling Steve Rogers, or, or you know, Captain America, and he's telling him, sometimes I just want to punch you in your perfect teeth. And there's a lot that says about this, because you got to understand, in the other films, remember, yeah, I believe it's the Avengers that, you know, when they're having that, that little problem, and he says, hey, you know what, um, you're the guy that my old man used to, you know, rant and rave about, you know, because, you know, he, you know, Howard Stark, you know, was helping out Captain America at the time. And I, and I guess he probably came back with all these stories when, when Tony was a kid. Okay. So, so yeah, but, uh, but another time he says, you know, uh, even in uh, Age of Ultron is when Tony is talking to him, he's like, you know, hey man, I don't trust anybody with, with any, uh, skeletons in the closet. Call me old fashioned, you know? And, um, and I, like he always sees him as, as a pristine like Boy Scout, so to speak, right? So uh, let's move along here. Now, this scene was pretty cool, and this is where you see Falcon just doing a, like a dive, uh, and he's got the wings, and you know you can see that the 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 colors are different than the one that he had you know before in Winter Soldier, which was you know completely gray. But he's got like you know the red, and I think that he's trying to match up as a part of the Avengers you know, with like Captain America's almost close. So if you can see the, the similar red lining in there. Um, and, and then somebody else brought this up, but it, it, it looks like like classic Falcon. Like if you look at the, the comic books, you know, I mean, they, they, it looks stupid. Like he had actual like feathered wings and stuff, you know, but they were they were that those same colors. So I, I think it's pretty cool that, that they're doing that. So let's move along here uh, at this point you're seeing uh steve rogers you know behind uh what looks to me like a helicopter that just took a that you know just took a hit and he's still being shot at you know so and you, you just see like the concrete just bursting all around him you know so and uh in this scene is when he's telling he's he's saying like to to falcon is like dude i you know i don't want you to to be involved in this and falcon he says to him, usually when people are shooting at you, they're also shooting at me. And that's, uh, that's very interesting to see because, as you can see, he's got the baseball cap and he's got the big shades too. I think, he's on, I think they're both on the run. And I think that Cap's telling him, like, hey, go back, you know, it's all good. And, but, you know, Falcon's like, no, it, like basically saying, I got your back. You know, if they're shooting at you, they're shooting at me. And I think that's what he's trying to say. He's not trying to say, like, like, hey, you know, they're going to shoot at me. I might as well join. No, he's like saying, no, if they're going to, usually when they shoot at you, they're going to shoot at me, you know, because I got your back, you know, so pretty, pretty cool uh, on the scene here. And then you see him doing that crazy spin uh, double kick to the soldiers and, you know, he comes back down and then like, you know, it's the, the wings are retracted. Very cool. And then here's another shot of uh, Scarlett Johansson. And then, you know, you see her talking to cap and and it looks like they're in an airfield here and uh you know basically she's probably trying to reason with them because it doesn't look like she's being aggressive with them it looks like you know she's like like whoa like don't make me do this right because clearly what you're seeing here is that like it, it seems to me it's going to be it's going to be war machine it's going to be iron man um what's it called black widow and black panther fighting against you know which would be winter soldier steve rogers um and uh, uh falcon and probably ant-man and now uh, they've also said that agent 13 is going to be in this as well uh but we don't see her in the trailer so uh, okay so let's move along from here uh now here you see you know great action sequence you know and there's like all these soldiers uh look probably like some special forces uh uh people coming at you know captain america and he's just you know beating the crap out of him with his shield so and then here's a shot that that looks interesting is where you see uh you see uh war machine and iron man together and it looks like uh and, and again you know iron man looks like like dude like we're gonna have to do this he doesn't look very happy 
but at the same time you can see that there's some sort of guilt behind that as well um, and then here's where you see this team oh and I totally forgot about Scarlet Witch so Scarlet Witch is is in the side of Captain America as well so you see the four team the four guys here you know which is Cat and then you see uh, Hawkeye and um, um, and uh, also Winter Soldier uh, no Falcon on this shot but you know you know Falcons in their team too so uh, let's move along from here and then you see this crazy shootings going out of missiles uh, like a barrage of missiles you know which is probably obviously Iron Man or even War Machine you know coming at them uh, yep and there's that shot there's both of them together you know um, and you know what's really weird though is that I'm looking at, at a War Machine and his, the the mini gun looks a lot smaller in this one for some reason. Um, it's not that big old one that he had like in a, in a, in a Iron Man two. The other thing that's interestingly enough, um, again, which is something I didn't like, and I'm glad they went back to the War Machine and not the Iron Patriot, um, because and look and, and not because I don't like you know the Iron Patriot or anything like that. It's just because for me, you know, uh, um, Norman Osborn was the Iron Patriot, in, uh, at least in the comics. So that's what I thought the continuity there, it, it, they just screwed it up. But being that now Sony and Marvel are doing this uh, uh, kind of connected universe with Spider-Man, who knows, they might be able to get Norman Osborn and probably do a, an Iron Patriot. I, I don't know, I mean, it, it's totally open for that though. Um, but let's move along. Okay, and this this is amazing here okay you got you got here black panther and you can see him doing like a weird spin kick uh and hits a uh, winter soldier now the, the cool thing about this is, is that you know that black panther is going to be played by uh chadwick boseman uh who, who's uh, another talented talented actor uh, i've only seen him in a very few things here um, but you can tell that he's gonna be definitely a force to reckon with, you know, as his career goes along. And and this is pro gonna put him in the open eye. And obviously, I mean, I can't wait for Black Panther, the, the the his single movie, and hear more of his background and all that. But here you see him kicking uh, uh, Winter Soldier. Um, you know, and and what's gonna be interesting is interesting also is how does Black Panther come into play with uh, Iron Man? Because uh, uh, I, I guess they're in the team together, which would be Black Panther and I believe Vision, Black Panther, Vision, uh, War Machine, and Iron Man, and uh, along with um, uh, Black Widow. So that's going to be interesting on how how he comes to to join the Avengers or, or join or who knows uh, or how he ends up uh, seeing eye to eye with you know um, uh, what's his name uh, Tony Stark. Uh, so let's move along here. <clears throat> okay, and then here you see uh, Scarlett Johansson doing uh, uh, one of the one of her famous, you know, uh, grab neck grapples and then twists and turns and flips a guy over. Really cool uh, action sequence. Now this part is interesting. Okay, because now here you see uh, you see Captain America going after Black Panther. Now, as you can see, his hands are are kind of like this, like. Even as he's running, like, you can tell he uses his claws, you know, probably a lot when fighting, you know. So uh, so that's going to be interesting enough. So you can see him just booking it, and then you see Cap right behind him. But it doesn't look like he's running away from Captain America, okay. On the sequence, you also see right here, okay, that's Winter Soldier, okay. So Winter Soldier, I believe that, that uh, Black Panther is chasing the winter soldier and steve rogers or captain america is trying to stop him from catching up to you know a uh, winter soldier uh, at least that's what it looks like to me because uh, it looked like they're in a parking structure and as the car's running i mean winter soldier's on top of that car really cool really cool uh, uh scene this is awesome i love this shot here uh this is the the shot in the scene where you see steve rogers holding the helicopter and a bar like you know just holding it in like and you know using all the strength and dude let me tell you dude you know my boy chris here you know he's looking cut up i mean dude his arms look swole so good for him man he, he's he it's he's putting a lot of hard work into 
you know, Captain America, very, very cool. And this kind of shows you um, his strength and, and what he's capable of doing. Because even though you know that he's got super strength, you know that he's got, that he can run faster than the average person, you know, they, they kind of really don't show you certain aspects of what he's capable of doing. Uh, one of the things that they did, they did show was um, in the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, you know, when he flips the motorcycle, that's showing you his strength. But they never really showed that type of, of a, a strength before. So really cool. Uh, really cool on their part, and uh, so this one is showing you uh, a lot of strength. I'm I can't wait for this. So let's move along here. Now here you see uh, Black Widow, and she's looking down, and uh, and it, it looks like it still looks like like it's it's probably like in like an airport, and um, you see some trucks uh, down there, and they, everything's just blowing up. So I don't know if this is due to the battle. Or why she's up there, but she's observing everything. Like holy shit, this is a lot of destruction. All right, so let's move along here now. The fight sequence, okay. Now, one of the things is cool when you get to the end, which I'm gonna get to in a second. But it looks like there's gonna be a single fight, you know, which is going to be Winter Soldier against Iron Man, and man, and he like just hits him. Like you see that hit, like. And you see the sparks flying because he's got that robot arm. And, you know, he hits him in his chest and, like, you know, knocks him back. And then this scene is amazing when he just, like, you can tell he's trying to get, you know, the, the core out of Iron Man to shut down the suit, you know. And, you know, he's going to, like, dig his finger. In. And you can see, like, man, he's like, I'm committed to this, you know. Super cool. Anyways, moving along. And then you see right here. Captain America, again, he's running, he's getting shot at, things are blowing up next to him, and he's got the shield here, and, you know, at this point in, in the trailer, you know, he's telling, uh, you know, Steve Rogers, Captain America, is telling Tony, Iron Man, he's like saying, I'm sorry, Tony, you know, I normally wouldn't do this, he goes, but Bucky's my friend. Now, um, now I'm going to get to the end of that phrase, but first I want to move to this next shot here. Okay, now you see Rhodes on the ground, you know, War Machine on the ground. And the, it looks like the, you know, the face has been torn off and you see the core. The core is gone. Now, I don't know if they gave away a big spoiler here um, or if he's dead or, or whatnot. But, it, you know, probably not. You know, he probably just dismantled it and, you know, probably, I don't, I, I don't know, probably threw him across or whatever, beat the crap out of him. But you can see on his chest, the, the chest the thing, it, it's ripped open. It is ripped apart. So, you know, I, I think it, I think it had to do win, with a Winter Soldier doing the same thing that he wants to do the same thing to, uh, to Iron Man. So, really cool shot. Okay, and then here you see a, a close-up of Sebastian. Um, and um, this is uh, um, him, you know, looking serious here and uh, then uh, i'm gonna go back to this part here and this is where you know steve rogers is letting him know he's my you know bucky's my friend and he's exhausted he's got bruises you can tell they've been fighting probably for a bit now this shot okay this is what i wanted to get to now he says bucky's my friend and tony you can see his face man and he says so was i now, he said it past tense. He's not saying, so am I. He's saying, so was I. But it's not just like him saying it like, you know, you can tell he looks heartbroken. Like, he looks bummed out about the deal, you know? And it comes to show you this movie is going to have a lot of layers. I mean, obviously, there's going to be, you know, the, the war crime aspect with, with Winter Soldier, them being uh, a government, uh, Tony trying to make him into a government entity, you know, and... And, you know, uh, them also, uh, Captain America and the rest of them being fugitives, you know, but also it's, it's about friendship, you know. It's about, like, you know, when you're so divided and, you know, he, you can see that he's bummed out about this. He's bummed out that he would make that type of decision. But, you know, at the same token, Captain America's like, man, I grew up with this guy. You know, this guy used to back me up when I was a scrawny dude, you know, so... 
I mean, this is it, obviously there's going to be a lot of feels in this movie. So um, at least that's what the tone for this trailer looks like. Um, moving along, this is, you know, uh, this is the money shot here, man. I mean, uh, this is where you see um, the like both Captain and Winter Soldier taking on Iron Man together. And you see right here, you know, Winter Soldier kicks Iron Man. And then here you see um, Captain America just hit him with the shield. You see the sparks flying, you know, on his face. And then, you know, after that, you know, he, when he tosses it, you know, to, um, Captain America hits him and tosses it and it bounces off Iron Man. And then Winter Soldier catches it and hits him with it. And then tosses it back to Captain America, you know, so that he can do that big hit, you know. And that's that's him right there, just ready to wail on him with the shield. And, you know, the shield's made out of vibranium. So, you know, this stuff, I mean, it should be able to cut through uh, Tony's armor. So, um, yeah, and, that's, and this is the, the last sequence here. Man, I mean, just that, that little... That little ending to this trailer was just amazing i mean amazing and it really kind of is it's really going to show you that the i hope that the tone stays like this and i don't see that one scene between um you know scarlet um not scarlet witch but uh black widow and you know uh hawkeye when they're you know just fooling around fighting you know i hope that it's really like you know hey they're trying to defend themselves i'm not letting you take me in you know, I'm not letting you turn me in. I'm not letting you, you know, I'm a fugitive right now. I'm not going to let you take me. And I hope that's the, the tone that stays like that. Because this, this is a case, man. Let me tell you, the Russo brothers, you know, these are the guys that directed the original, uh, not the original, but they they directed uh, Winter Soldier, Captain America Winter Soldier. They did a great job. It's actually Winter Soldier. If you see my 12 uh, movies here of Marvel, uh, Winter Soldier was, is my favorite out of all the Marvel movies. Um, it just I, I just think that it, it made for a really good genre. Give me a second here. So uh, I, I, I really enjoyed that. So seeing them come back again to Captain America uh, Civil War, I think great great choice to keep them on. And, you know, the other thing is, I don't know if you guys know this, but they're also going to do... The Avengers, they're going to direct The Avengers um, Infinity Wars. Now, I don't know if they're doing both parts because it's going to be split in from uh, Infinity Wars going to be done from part one and part two. But if it, if it um, if they do, I hope they do both. And what it looks like to me is that they're going to shoot everything back to back. I believe um, uh, Chris uh, uh, was talking about that. He was talking about doing a nine-month nine months of shooting to do both films back to back and uh, you know after that i don't know if his contract's up or anything or if they're going to renew his contract who knows um but hopefully they do because you know what i mean he does a really great job at being captain america and i think captain america is actually one of those superheroes that you can uh, you know if as a kid you know if you're a kid like out there and you see Captain America, you know, you can look up to Captain America, you know, as being like a war hero, somebody who stands up for what's right. And, and you know, if you see the, the, the first one, Captain America, the first Avenger, you know, you know, he's he's a small guy, but he's still sticking up for himself, sticking up for, for other people. And he wants to help people. And you see that even through like Winter Soldier, when he's, you know, telling, you know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who plays Nick Fury, and he's like telling him, you know, he goes, this is he goes he goes this isn't freedom he goes this is fear and he's talking about the gunships so you know it, it's a really cool character to have and you know for and it's even something for kids to look up to but uh there you guys have it you guys have the trailer for captain america civil war um it will be out on may 5th of 2016 so it, it's it's we're almost there so i mean it, it's it's a few months six months from now so I can't wait. What do you guys think of the trailer? Did you guys see the trailer? Check out the trailer. Put your comments down below. Tell me what's going on. And also, look, man, if, if you guys have any questions, put it on my Twitter, okay? I'm going to do some other stuff later on. 
for uh, TV411. So uh, look, look, look for that. Uh, in the meantime, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Uh, this one is about 30 minutes long. So uh, look, I, I apologize, but I think it was necessary. I think we covered a lot of angles on this. But tell me your theories, what you think is going to happen. And did you miss not having Ant-Man or Spider-Man in there? And while also Agent 13 is not in there. But did you guys miss those elements? Do, do you guys want to see them in the trailer? Or do you want to not see Spider-Man at all and wait until you actually you know, see the movie to see Spider-Man? You think he's going to do a cameo or not? Hey, let me know. In the meantime, guys, my name is Rocky Rees. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. And again, share, subscribe, discuss, and don't forget to spread the word. Thank you very much, guys. You guys have a good one.